Welcome back to Troy. Let's talk real. And I am Troy. Um, so I just finished another book on my list. And um, that particular book is called The Coming Race by Edward Bulwer. And this particular book, uh, I was made aware of while I was watching a YouTube video. And um, I believe it was like Coast to Coast or something like that with George Norrie. And he had a guest on that mentioned this particular book about um, a man who experienced uh, a quite interesting experience years ago where uh, he and a friend of his uh, were miners and they actually uh, found a cave and inside of this cave led them to this underground world where uh, there was another technologically advanced species of humanoid beings that was living underground um, in the earth, which was like a second earth. And um, I, I, I kind of found the book very interesting. I'm into these type of books. And you can call this book a science fiction book. Some people are calling it um, a factual book and that there is a superior race that lives within the earth and they will come eventually um, above ground to deal with us and eventually annihilate us to some degree. <laughs> some people were assuming, or at least what was said to me, that's what Hitler at some point in time assumed as well. And this is all theory um, and what was shared in that particular video that I was watching. Um, but this book um, was written very, very long ago and, um, in 1871. And this book takes account uh, allegedly by the author. The author is the person that allegedly experienced uh, a lot of the things um, that was mentioned in this particular book here. Now, um, let me give you a, a small synopsis of what um, the book is generally about. It's about um, a man... Um, brought to another world you can say inside of the earth um with these beings who are technologically advanced more spiritually advanced more culturally advanced than we humans are that live above ground um they have their own societal setup politics etc um they live in a, a sort of um you know blissful way of living and not needing um, anything pretty much by surviving off the sustenance of this particular liquid called the brill. And, um, you know, it, it's a very interesting book. Um, some people are going to look at it from more of a science fiction book due to a lot of the things that, you know, takes place in this particular book. You know, this man spent, um, I believe several months down underground in this underground world, they had an artificial light or artificial sun, excuse me, that lit up these caverns. Um, they were technologically advanced. Once again, they were able to heal each other. They were also able to read each other's minds. Uh, they actually had some type of apparatus that allowed some of them to fly. Um, what was more interesting as well was the... Um, the, the, the situation as far as the, the hierarchy and in this particular culture that's described in this book by these people, um, the women were the dominant uh, of the two of the male and the, and the female. The women were bigger. The men, the women were more stronger. Um, and, and the women actually courted the men. The men didn't actually court the women like how we do here above ground where you know if you're pursuing a woman the man's the pursuer the man is the one that holds the doors the man that takes the one that proposes to the woman whereas in this particular world the woman is the aggressor the woman is the one that chooses her mate so forth and so forth but um at some point in time in the book you know i don't want to give it all away but it's very it's very interesting um in, in how it was written and what was written about it um and and i think that you also check it out it's not, a, it's not a really a long read, you know, to be quite honest. It's not a book that has like 500 pages. It only has 124 pages in this particular book. Um, so it's not a really lengthy, long book, but I think it's a very interesting book. Um, and like I said, some people believe that this is an actual uh, account of events that occurred with the superior subterranean species of humanoid beings that uh, Mr. Edward Buehler had the opportunity to um, you know, you know, encounter. Um, and, and, you know, there's been speculation um, amongst uh, a lot of theories and scientific um, scientists and things of that nature, philosophers who do believe that there is an inner earth inside of the core of the earth. 
and there may be beings that live there that we are not aware of. I mean, who knows at this particular point? But at the time the book was written, you know, you would think like, why would somebody make up uh, 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 accusations or write a book of this nature trying to uh, bring a book like this to light? Whereas in the time, no one wants to read anything of this fictional nature back then. I'm just assuming. But this is called The Coming Race. I would recommend everybody to go and read this. You can get this on Amazon. Um, it's not a very expensive book. And it's a good read. It's not a long read. And if you're into, you know, just, you know, other people's perspective and experiences, and even if it may not, you know, be something that you can logically get with, you know, it's still a good read at the end of the day. And it's not going to take up your entire day or entire time trying to get through this book. So that's it. That's another book down. Another one bites the dust. Don't forget to like and subscribe and pick up this book. I will leave the link in the description box below uh, for Amazon link to this particular book if you choose to want to check it out. I'm Troy. This is Troy. Let's talk real. Until next time. Peace.